Hi there, welcome back for another minifigures review video and uh, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, another uh, Attack on Titan release by WM Blocks. Uh, now this release is kind of a little bit different, it's not really based off uh, any of the characters from the show. I felt that this is like a uh, you know, build your grunt kind of um, a set because uh, you can see here that actually uh, in minifigures you have 4 male and uh, 4 females and you're actually getting like uh, two different uh, face printing. Uh, the head uh, is actually dual sided print, but it, it actually contains only two uh, male uh, face printing, and same goes for the the female. Um, but of course, there is a, a new uh, update to to the parts. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a new parts, but uh, updated uh, the the cape. All right. So uh, this is going to be kind of like a short review because everything else is the same. So just uh, you know, uh, run through and let you see uh, if this set is worth getting or not because yeah, it's really a very generic uh, grunt kind of army builder kind of set which, which to me is okay, alright? Okay, so yeah, before we dig in, do remember to share, like and subscribe to this channel, right? Uh, yeah, so let's, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the first four male ones, alright? So all four have different hair sculpts, all right? And uh, I think this is quite cool. You have uh, some options in how you want to build it. Okay, this is the first hair sculpt, and the second one. All right. Oops. Uh, this I think I've seen before. The spiky hair. Okay, so I wouldn't say all these are uh, new sculpted hair piece, uh, some are reused. Okay. Alright, and uh, oh, let me get this back in. What's different in this set, uh, the upgraded is that the, uh, the cape has been upgraded to have um, the faction's uh, logo printed. So the older ones, uh, the one which they gave us the <coughs> the first time they gave us this sculpted cape, as you can see here, uh, you don't have it. Here, there's no printing, which uh, I think that's a miss. But they added it. Now we have the scout logo, which is very cool. I think this is the only cool thing about this set. All right. Okay. So you do also have you actually have four uh, different printings all together. Is the uh, the garrison, right? Okay, the roses, and you have the uh, trainee. Okay, and uh, finally the uh, the military or kind of like a police, the unicorn. Okay, so that's the new stuff. Um, other than that, uh, like I mentioned. The, the face printing, you can see uh, two different face prints, but all four of them have the same ones. So I think the, the options in terms of face print is uh, rather limited. You know, if each of them have uh, two sided face print, that will be really cool army builder set. But as of now, I think uh, we are getting like all of them, most of most of them having the same face print. So that's that's a negative for this set. Okay. Let's take a look at the, the body print here. Is I think it's very accurate in terms of body printing. Uh, let me just remove everyone. Hang on. Okay, so I just remove all their gears, so you can see the printing here is uh, quite accurate. So this being the one with the uh, scout, so you can see here the scout logo. Okay. Hang on. So also the uh, this area here, the pocket, uh, you also have the scout logo and you can see this having the uh, the garrison or the, the garrison logo and the trainee and also the uh, military okay so you can see, see just turn it this side right so very nice printing, uh, very accurate, you have all the factions which is very well done and the back here also the same 
Oops. Here. Yes, it's just a little bit. Hopefully it's clear enough. Okay. So you can see. So very nice printing. You have all the different uh, faction logos printed <coughs> accurately. Um, which is very cool. Okay. Right. So. Uh, just take a look at that. So that's basically it. Um, that's about this minifigure. In terms of the gear wise, you, you do have. Yeah, this is actually the same one, so there's no different. Okay, you have one, you have it all. Um, yeah, I can show you the face print. Um, for example, I can switch all to having the same. Right there, you see, it's all the same. So you're only getting to a different face print, which I think that's uh, a little bit weird on that part. Oh yeah, just one thing. Uh, one thing I haven't really played with it uh, on this one, uh, I haven't really revealed this part. Is that one thing cool about uh, what how WM made this all these gears is that uh, it enables you to actually. Uh, have them ride on the horse, especially the scouts. Right, so you can see there's no issue. You can actually put him on the horse, and uh, yeah, as all of them, the scouts normally just rides off into their mission. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so I just forgot to you know uh, review this part when I did for the uh, the previous uh, set. So hopefully it's it shows how good the design is. Okay, so that's the uh, the four characters. <laughs> so let's look at the other four. Okay, so here we have the four uh, female. I don't know what they call them. Um, yeah, female soldiers, right? So we have the first hairstyle. I think the female hairstyle is not bad. And uh, the second one. The third one. This is very nice. This is very nice. Very detailed. Okay. It feels like those Naruto uh, kind of uh, hair. Oops. And uh, this is very common. Okay, so that's the the hair piece that you're getting. Uh, face print wise, two different face print as well. As you can see here. Uh, why am I always uh, oh, okay? You see, so you're getting either this or this two different face print, All right? Um, just to show you. Okay, so there, it's the same. Right, and of course they also come with the uh, uh, the printed cape, which I think is the only selling point uh, for the set to me. Okay, so you have the trainee, the scout, the garrison, and the uh, the police. Just uh, one of each, just like the male sets. All right. Okay. So the body printing, uh, let me just remove all the gears. Okay, so just remove their gears and you can see the printing for each of them. And uh, they do have the factions, trainee, um, scout, garrison and also the uh, police. So all of them have the same uniform, uh, which makes them very generic. And uh, turn to this side. Okay, you can see. All right, to the back. Okay, so uh, printing is definitely beautiful, uh, but it just depends on whether do you require this in your collection. All right, so let me see your face print. 
Yeah, I can actually change all of them to have the same one. Uh, yeah, just one more. <laughs> okay, so you can see. All of them having the, uh, the same face print. Okay, just standing uh, next to the all those name characters you can see here. But I, I think in terms of the whether the face printing is it really matching? Uh, does it really fit into the all those name characters you, you can see here? Um, this actually feels more like those uh, anime. Uh, which looks very cool. This is, I think, it just doesn't really match up that well. Okay, so that's just my opinion. Uh, even the guy, if I, I put in the guys here, you can see the face print. It, it just doesn't really match into the lore of what they have uh, created. I don't know. What do you think? I, I felt that this is really like a Attack on Titans kind of face. Uh, design whereas this two this whole bunch here is uh, really not really in sync okay it doesn't really match that well right so yeah okay so that's the uh, last four okay so that's the review of the uh, Attack on Titans minifigure by WM Blocks uh, <coughs> overall I think this set is just okay the only selling point is the printed clip other than that, I think uh, face printing all is just not good enough. Like I've shown you, it just doesn't really fit into you know the the previous releases. Um, I think in the show there are actually tons of uh, background characters. They could easily just follow those uh, face printing and design and give us those rather than give us something so generic. There, you're you're looking at just four different face prints for eight characters. So I think. Yeah, it's not really that good, but of course, if you want to build uh, grunts, that's your only option for now. Uh, but uh, if you ask me, I think the set you, you can easily pass unless you want the the printed cloak, all right? Uh, but those without printing, I think it's good enough, right? Uh, I wouldn't re really like want to f force to get the printed ones, but I really like. Uh, yeah, it looks cool if you manage to just swap it, but you're not gonna get all. Um, that many minifigures just to replace all of the cloaks, right? So I think uh, I'm gonna settle down with what I have previously. Uh, this set again, so as I mentioned, um, you could pass. You no, know, if you don't really want the cloak, you can actually pass it. Uh, not really that good as background characters. Okay, right. So yeah, that's my review, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's helpful to make uh, help you make a decision on your purchase. All right. So once again, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, I'll see you again in my next video then. Bye-bye now.